What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about an on-duty yard move and what that means when you're doing ELDs and how to use yard duty properly and not illegal. But first, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you get any value from this at all, smash that like button and let's get into it. Okay, yard move. What is that? Well, okay, if you're using an ELD, we have on-duty hours, off-duty hours, driving hours, personal events, and we have an on-duty yard move. Well, let me explain to you why FM CSA explains what a yard move is. A yard move is something that when you go to a shipper or receiver, you can move your truck around without it counting against your drive time. Now, this yard move will count against your 70, so it's not gonna help you there and it will count against your 14. The only thing it will save you, it will save you from using your 11 hours of drive service. So if you're in a, a shipper and uh, you want to get up in the middle of the night and move to another dock or move over here, it will start your 14. So don't think it won't. A yard move will start your clock. So if you're trying to save your clock from starting, yard move's not for you. But yard move is if you go to a shipper receiver and you've got to move a dock or move a trailer, that's when you use it. Now, let me explain to you when it's illegal to use yard move. You cannot use it on a public highway. So if you're trying to drive down the road from one warehouse to the next warehouse, that's illegal. You'll get an illegal use of locks. Uh, if you go above 20 miles an hour, it's going to kick back on the driving. So you're not allowed to go over 20 miles an hour. And if it does it and you drive over 20 miles an hour, that's an illegal use of locks. So you got to keep it below 20 miles an hour. Now, the way they describe it, is that a yard move has to be done in a place that public access is not allowed. So you're not only really allowed to use a yard move at a truck stop because public people can come in and out. You're not even allowed to use your yard move at your home. Yard move is, has to be supposed to be supposed to be sign footed saying no public access. So it's for designated warehouses. It's designated for your ship, for the ship, for the receiver. Uh, your company that you work for uh, at their yard so if you come up there and you need to move a few trailers around uh, inside that yard you can use that yard move so it doesn't hurt against your leaven how I use yard move is let's say I go to the terminal and I got to pick up a yard a truck trailer and uh, it say it's empty but they I got to pull a trailer out I don't want to start my drive clock so I'll pull a trailer out hook up to another trailer that's on on duty not driving yard move that's what you use it for so make sure you do this correctly and make sure you're using yard move the right times. You say, well, Sean, how's anybody ever gonna know? Okay, well, let's say you have an accident and God forbid you kill somebody. Maybe it's not even your fault. Somebody runs into you from behind and they kill themselves. Let me go ahead and tell you, the DOT, and there's gonna be lawyers somewhere is gonna go back, they're gonna be looking at your logs, seeing where you was at, when did you use it, and they're gonna nitpick your, your logs. So make sure you're doing the right things. You don't wanna to go to prison, you don't wanna do nothing wrong, and you say, well, hang on, it's just a log violation. Yeah, until somebody dies, and then they're gonna come after you. So take this seriously, take the ELD seriously, log correctly, don't be using illegal use of logs. You may get away with it a thousand times, but there's one time that you're not going to get away with it. It's going to cost you your tail. So make sure you do it right. I hope this explained yard move. Let me know in the comments if it did or if you have any other questions. I'll be making some more videos soon about different things like on duty, as far as driving, personal advance. So subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification so you can always get update videos of Trucking Live with Sean, I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Also, make sure you check in on Sunday morning. Every Sunday morning at 10 a.m., we have what we call Trucker Sunday. It's where I'll pull over wherever I'm at, and I'll read you the Bible, give you some scripture, try to give you some good word if you can't make it to the church, because we all need to be fed the word of God. So I do that every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern, whether I'm at home or not. I try to do that every week. I might be running a few minutes late, but because I'm trying to find Wi-Fi or get pulled over somewhere to take care of it, but I will take care of it for you every Sunday at 10 a.m. Also, if you're looking for a great company to work for, or Rosedale Transport, the number 706-226-1003. Ask for Tina. Tell me, your boy, Sean sent you. If you're looking for a company that's going to treat you with respect, that ain't going to make you run illegal, uh, make sure you get your miles. You got, I got a brand new truck. I get home every week. I get 28 to 3,200 miles every week, and I'm home every week because I get to do my 34 hours at home. So, and, and then the people that work I work with, it's like a family there. They used to be truck drivers. Most of them were truck drivers previously, so they understand what you're going through. So you definitely want to call 706-226-1003. Also, if you're a new truck driver right out of school, call Rosedale Transport. 
they'll get you hooked right up. They'll reimburse your tuition. And if you're an experienced driver, you get that big old sign on bonus. So don't forget about that. So anyway, come on down. I'm a trainer here. We're going to train you right, get you going. Make sure you get your miles. Make sure you stay legal. Make sure you put some money in your pocket and keep you healthy, keep you happy. Let's get it. This is Trailing Life with Sean. See y'all next time.